Orange County, the last county leaving Texas, and the last project for the Texas Department of Transportation in its effort to improve Interstate 10 in Southeast Texas. On Thursday, crews began what will be a four-year construction project from Adams Bayou to the Sabine River. This is kind of the next phase. We've been working from the Nature River Bridge all the way to the state line, and this is the next section that needs to be worked on. The work is beginning at Simmons Drive, where workers will be widening the shoulders in the upcoming weeks. It will then move on to the Highway 87 overpass, which will be replaced, as well as the business Highway 90 overpass and the Little Cypress Bayou Bridge. A new bridge will also be added for a new Meeks Drive turnaround. There will be some inconveniences along the way, but we're really just asking people to please, you know, stay patient with us, and, um, and this project is really going to help that section of roadway. And be patient in the work zone. Speed limits will drop to 65 miles per hour along the four mile stretch, and there will be lane closures. This is going to be a long project, but it's going to be a lot better when this project is completed. Leave early, expect delays, but in the end, TxDOT promises a safer, smoother ride. In Orange County, Vanessa Holmes, 12 News HD. Grocery stores, restaurants for all tastes, and plenty of shops supplying a variety of services. College near 11th Street in Beaumont is booming. The newest arrival to the party is the city's second freestanding Starbucks. All of these new neighbors have been welcomed over the last year or so. But those who have been part of the street for years say it takes more than a flashy sign to become a mainstay to the area. Just having integrity, you know, uh, operate your business with ethics. Um, you know, treat people with dignity and respect no matter what their uh, economic status is. Um, and, and if you do that, you're certainly going to be successful. Joseph MacArthur manages Drive Away Motors. The car shop sits across the street from the new HEB. Since the grocery store opened up roughly four months ago, he says business has increased by 30 percent. What we've really benefited from is having the fact that these new people have come in. Businesses that have been open in the College Street area for years say the new additions are bringing both positive change and some challenges. MacArthur says he's seen car crash is fairly often and isn't surprised considering more cars are now navigating the narrow and damaged roads. If there's anything that the, the city does need to work on, it's the traffic patterns and how we're going to deal with the increase in vehicle traffic and the increase in pedestrian traffic. Along with working in the developing area, MacArthur says he also lives nearby and is excited to see more changes to his neighborhood. Well, it's awesome. I don't have to drive all the way across town to come to a, to a very clean, very nice, very safe area to do my to do business. In Beaumont, Leah Durain, 12 News. Vanessa Holmes live at the Orange Boat Ramps this morning where the tournament will be held. Good morning, Vanessa. What better way to spend Father's Day weekend than on a boat fishing with your dad? Well, you can do that at the Do It in Orange Fishing Tournament. It's the third annual event where over $22,000 will be handed out. The newly renovated boardwalk paves the way to the river where fishermen will be casting their lines hoping to reel in the biggest catch. On June 14th and 15th, over 100 people will launch their boats for the Do It in Orange Fishing Classic. We've got a great system here, a great uh, fishery, you know, and we, we kind of get to, this is one of the only tournaments that I know of that actually gets to highlight. We do both saltwater and freshwater. Over $22,000 in prizes will be handed out for three categories, redfish, speckled trout, and bass and new this year high schoolers can join in on the winnings it's its own separate payout its own separate prizes um, it's a $2,500 first place down to $100 10th place. Fishing tournaments are becoming the norm in Orange. Last year, the pros came to town for the Bassmasters Elite Tournament. Thousands visited and tested the waters, bringing in money to the local economy. There's a lot more people that are fishing this water and coming into Orange and fishing our area, you know, that used to, you know, so it's becoming more of a tourist area for us as far as fishing is concerned. These tournaments are bringing life back to the downtown area, a place for everyone wanting to spend their days on the water.
Along with cash prizes for the biggest catch, any fishermen staying at a hotel or motel in Orange that weekend can bring their receipt here to enter a drawing for $500. You can sign up for the tournament by contacting the Chamber of Commerce. We're live in Orange, Vanessa Holmes, 12 News HD. All right, thank you, Vanessa. Look a soggy soaking in southeast Texas. Heavy downpours and fast high rising waters drenched Beaumont Friday. The floodwaters rose nearly 16 feet on Irving Street at Martin Luther King, high enough to almost top the overpass. Residents stunned at what looked like a river and not a road. I don't think Beaumont's ever been this bad besides like when a hurricane comes and you get surge and stuff. That's about the only time it turns into something like this, but I've never seen it like this. Nearby on Martin Luther King, water, mud, mulch, vehicles stuck in a pond of mess. Mo Simon says when he tried to turn around, it was too late. When I got right here, I said, oh man, I need to back up. By the time I put in, in reverse, that water done got up. Motor, the motor killed, so that's when the car started flying. I said, wow, I'm moving like I'm in a boat. He was forced to climb to safety through his sunroof and then make a call for help. But a lot of stranded motorists were forced to sit and wait, waiting on help in floodwaters and in this case mud as record services were very busy dealing with an influx of phone calls. I've been busy since early this morning. You can't keep up. It's kind of hard to keep up when you're busy like that. Wreckers with flashers on all over town towing away vehicles. Simon says what is now ruined inside his car can be replaced. Thank God I'm alive. That's material thing. No injuries reported, just a lot of damage and debris. Now drying out. In Beaumont, Vanessa Holmes, 12 News HD.